Why do you believe in God? Or do you believe in God might be a better question. What is it that helps you to believe? Something that I found more and more uh, in my own ministry and in my time is that for people my age, probably a little older and especially younger, it's very easy to stop believing in God or to start believing in something else that is some other idea, some other way of thinking that's in the culture and to go away from the faith very easily. It feels like you don't need God when you have all of these other things that seem a lot more plausible, reasonable. But I think it's something that we don't talk about enough in the church of how do we explain the faith and how do we also hold firm to the truths that we know in the faith. It's very easy to be taken away by some other way of thinking because if we don't keep ourselves rooted in the truth of scripture and the truth of teaching of whatever that we are learning in the faith, then it's very easy to be taken away by something else that is not true. I think this is what uh, what St. Paul actually is talking about when he's speaking in the Acts of the Apostles to these people at Miletus. He's about to leave them. And he says to keep watch over yourselves and over the flock which I have entrusted to you so that they w- you don't aren't taken away by some false teaching, some false doctrine. He says that I know that savage wolves will come upon you. People who want to distort the teachings of St. Paul, the teachings of Christianity, or who want to present a different teaching as being better or just as good. But there's a certain sense we must have that just says, I'm going to believe, you know, I'm not, not without knowing, without investigating. Our, tr- our tradition has always been that there is faith and reason that we can reasonably believe in Jesus. But we have to do the work as well. That's something that we, we haven't always emphasized well, that we have to also have to will that we are going to continue to learn, that we are continuing to immerse ourselves in the reading and the teaching that we need to know so that we can continue to believe strongly, that we can continue to also explain the faith. This is something I found, especially as a priest, that I have to keep learning so that I can keep explaining things, preaching well in the faith. I hope so. And it's also what St. Justin Martyr, who the saint we celebrate today, what he was very good at. He was a he was born in the year 100, so very close to the time of Christ. And he was one who sought after the truth very adamantly with everything he had. He looked at different philosophies. He's known as a philosopher as well, but he came to Christianity and found the truth there. And he died for that truth eventually before the Roman magistrates, before Marcus Aurelius, the emperor at the time. But he stated and he was very firm in saying that Christianity is the truth of the faith. It's from Justin Martyr, too, that we have a lot of the accounts of the early church, of what Mass looked like in those early days. So we thank the Lord for witnesses such as Justin Martyr and all of the saints who held fast to the faith, even in the uh, midst of persecution. Because we must know that this is the truth, that this is the one place that we will find real truth, and that we must hold fast to it, and we must teach our families, our children, to do the same so that they can know Jesus and know his truth and his love.